Okay, today I am going to make a short video on the static grass here. Um, they're pretty much the same, just like the battery one, but these are rechargeables. Um, this is the mini. That's what it looks like. Okay. And this is the regular. Okay. If you watch the other video, there should be a link on here. Um, it should show you the size. But I'm going to measure it anyway. Um, these strainers right here. They are two and a half. Okay. That's the mini. And the larger size, it's a three and a half strainers. Okay. That's what it looks like. And then, if you look really close, I am going to see if you can see it. It's about one millimeter, a little bit over one millimeter, uh, the grid size. And pretty much, this is the same thing as the other one. It's about a, a 0.5 of a, uh, well, half a millimeter, I guess. Anyway, um, when you get it, it's pretty much simple if you want to test this out um, first of all you can plug this in and you snap out like that there's a little button right here and if you press it forward that this is where the where you plug in that's where you plug in your outlet during your plug in the light will come on and this is the red light right here now there's a the other side this is a turn on switch okay this is on right now it shouldn't be on but that's on right now and this is the uh, press and release so you press it it's on you release it is off pretty much the same thing as this one I don't have to go through detail with that one but when you get it unwind it out and if you want you can just stretch this a little bit and it'll straighten out your uh, wire for you to make things easier but these are pretty high ratings, so please be really careful. And when you turn it on, once it's being charged, turn that on. Press this, and you will see the light comes on. And just touch it right here. That's when you know. As you can see right there, I wasn't expecting that one, but um, I was getting too close to it. But that's how you would see the spark right there. So if you press it for a few seconds, and you see that spark right there. Okay. When you're done working with these, make sure to discharge them. Okay. Pretty much the same way. These are very powerful. Um, an average charge, it's about six, three to six hundred um, on the battery. So uh, uh, try not to use. I mean, not charge as uh, as is necessary because it loses is charged through time just like everything else with the batteries um, but other than that that's about it on that one uh, pretty much I'm gonna do this one this is pretty much the same thing uh, on and off button pretty much the same thing the only thing different is the size on these and like I said once you get your um, product there just turn this on right there that's the button and press that and you should see it just like that where it says this green light it's on off and then just touch the grid once you touch the grid you should be able to see a spark right here right there that's when you know your static grass is working but don't play with it too much because you don't want to ruin it um, the electronic parts inside so my best bet is to wait a little bit so it will can dissipate and then just touch it right here after you're working with them but other than that, that's pretty much about it. And I always shut them off because these will give you a big shock. I can tell you, how, you don't even know how many times this has uh, swing across the room. Um, so please be really careful with them. Um, like I said, it's just uh, that off button. Maybe you can put a little sticker on here or something. So that way you know when it's off and stuff like that. So you don't uh, ruin it. But uh, it's pretty much easy. Just pop this out to plug this into the wall. And then put this back so you can just hold the handles while you are uh, flocking. 
so that's about it on those um, uh, cleaning is pretty easy um, you would need some sort of spray spray these grids or you can just tap here on these right here um, during your uh, flocking as well you can tap on these if you want but it's best to uh, follow the instructions on on the um, a listing I left a little instruction on those and just like these right here I did these with actually the regular one not the rechargeable one but that's pretty much uh, something like that's what it looks like the the grass would look like and bring really close into that and that's how they stand uh, once they dry they you can't it's like a uh, you can make little patches you can make different patches and then and put them on a uh, a wax sheet so that way you'll be able to just peel them off with a tweezer and lay wherever you want. Um, as according to different, you know, people, they can just, or you can make a big, huge patch and then just cut to the size you want. That would be a nice way too, because then you can shape whatever you want. But um, some people actually would do it on the layout and then take the, once it's dried, then they take the vacuum and vac whatever's not stuck on there but my recommendation is to make little patches like these or something and then actually would be a lot better because then you get where you want and stuff like that for mountains or uh, any scenery actually um, anyway other than that uh, oh I forgot one thing it's the size on these um, this is about right here the handles and that's the size on those I believe it's almost 10 close to 10 and then the whole thing it will be about 12 13 on this one and then for the mini one it is 12 almost a little bit over 12 but 12 I would say 12 um, they're not that heavy um, they're pretty comfortable to work with um, other than that, that's it on these. And oh, make sure um, not to take this off. You can take it off if you want. Some people actually like to take them off. You can take them off, but just don't touch that part while you're while you're working with that because you will get a shock. Like I said, um, to put it back, all you do is just open this up, clamp it onto something, and then push that back just like that. So that way it's a little safe. But uh, you can use wire. Um, you can use a little nail or um, sometimes I put a long uh, a long wire I, I strip a long wire and I lay it onto the glue and then I clip this on so that way I can uh, flock this over like that so it will it'll, it'll, it'll get stick because that's what the static is so that's my tip on that um, doing these but anyway uh, I'm going to end this video. Any question, just uh, follow the link or uh, on the eBay. Um, but I'm going to give you a separate um, uh, link for that. And I'll show you how it actually works and stuff. Because this is just a, a short video of, 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 of reviewing them. So that way people um, would know what they expect and what they were getting.